guys what is going on and welcome to another video we're sitting here outside Outback Gym and Fitness I'm about to go and smash an arm session and it's been it's probably been about four or five days since I last talked to you guys and with that said we've um, I'll turn the car off here we've made uh, made some gains on the scales we have even in this first week like I predicted so Today is Tuesday, uh, let's back up a bit. Last Monday I tenanted my place, my, my house in Alice Springs, my little townhouse, and I uh, haven't heard anything yet, no, so no news is good news, but you know I would expect that because I had to shell out a bit of money to get that property up to uh, you know, tenant, tenantable standard. Although the only reason I had to do that was because I got such a, a, a good tenant, um, such a, you know, sort of, reliable tenant that they are quite picky um, and you just want the house to be perfect when they go in so it's perfect when they come out and so that's what we did there was if I run down the costs it was well it was 2,800 to get my backyard done that was the first thing that I needed to do before I even talked to a real estate agent so it was 2,800 for that and then it was 1,600 for three lockable security screen doors it was 400 for two so it was 300 for two sensor lights outside to a certain brightness because the other ones weren't weren't good enough. It was $800 for the cleaner to come through and do everything. Now I was going to help, which could probably have reduced it to $700, but honestly it just it wasn't it wasn't going to work. You know, especially on that Saturday I actually went to work myself. So I went to work, I earned my money per hour. I basically came home and paid her her fee per hour and it all cancels itself out so with that said eight hundred dollars for that and what else I had to fuck I, I thought it was all done and then the real estate agent came through and I'd forgotten that the shower has a small leak out the side of it so when you have a shower for an extended period of time the water will come out onto the floor just a little bit but like I said before you want it perfect when the tenant goes in so you get it back perfect so I had to get another handyman out to do that, put a little line of silicon along there. I could have done it myself, but at that point I was just like, nah, I don't want anything more to do with it. And it was on the Monday, so I just said, yeah, the real estate agent actually has handymen and plumbers and things on, you know, on file, the ones that they use regularly. Um, they can get them out there really quickly, so I just said, you worry about it. So anyways, that is that. As far as making gains, as far as the diet, as far as the training goes, um, yeah, everything's progressing pretty well to be honest uh, it's, it's only been four or five days what I've done is I've increased my calories um, obviously predominantly from carbs you know before and after training so I've probably added in about 300 extra carbs per day which is you know 1200 calories it's probably a little bit too much but I was losing weight on my previous diet so and that was at about 2800 um, to 3,000 calories, I was still losing weight, so I feel like I can I can raise my diet up to about 4,000 calories with you know nothing to worry about at all. So with that said, the last uh, three or four days, my my diet has been up around four four and a half to 5,000 calories, and it's it's really it's fueled my first few workouts really well. You know, it, I'm feeling stronger already. Like I said, man, it's fucking great. I like I really am, um, and. You know, I think things are just going to keep progressing from here as long as I don't push my diet up to five or 6,000 calories per day, which, you know, I might be able to do it for a week, but I don't think I'd be able to do that for anything long term anyway. So uh, things, are, things are going well, you know. As far as macros go, I think on a day where I've had 5,000 calories, it might be 250 grams of protein, 150 grams of fat, and like five or, 6, 000, uh, five or 600 grams of carbs. So that's where we're at at the moment. As far as training goes, the first day I came in here, I smashed chest in the morning. I came back, I did triceps at night. Second day, I came and did back in the morning. Uh, at night, we came back and did some biceps. The third day, which was two days ago now, I did some legs. And I tell you what, like my motivation was so high that I smashed my legs. I hit PBs on pretty much every exercise. My legs are so tender right now, <laughs> as, you, as you can imagine. Um, is, you know, like I mentioned, I stopped this this cut because the fact is, is that I I was struggling for motivation, and you know, when I was training, when I was training, I couldn't stop thinking about the fact that you know I'm putting in all this effort, 
and I'm not going to build any muscle. And for the first few weeks, you know, that's fine because you know that's what you have to do and you're really motivated. But after about six weeks, you know, you, you think you're in decent shape already. It's like, why would you push through if you're not going to compete? So that was where my head was at. I'm feeling much better. I'm eating more now. Um, I'm about to go in the gym right now. As I said, pump, pump some arms up. And they will be pumped up. That's one thing, you know, I was always looking forward to, especially in this rebound, is, is getting the pump back and taking advantage of that rebound rebound uh, period. Any muscle lost during this cut will be back within two weeks, I'm telling you. Like, muscle memory is is an amazing thing. Any muscle you've lost through through not working out or through dieting or anything like that, you start training hard again, you start introducing those calories, it's going to come back in a third of the time it took to to build originally, even, you know, if not less. So I'm excited about that. My weight, I will do a weigh in when I get inside actually for you guys. I think it, it'll be under 100 kilo. I've only had like one sandwich this morning and that's it. Um, I haven't had much to drink or anything. So yeah, the weight will be pretty spot on. We got down to 96.5 kilo. I never dropped under 96. So that was, that was the mark. And um, on from here guys. So, Today is like, I don't know, fucking day 345, I think. So that means we've got 20 days to go. And um, I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do for the final video. I'm going to put something together that, uh, you know, represents my journey over the past 12 months. And, I, you know, come to think of it, looking back on my videos, I can't, I cannot fucking believe it. I've literally made like 120 videos in this series. So that's, you know, one every two or three days or 130 videos, one every two or three days, consistently, for a whole year. And you know what, regardless of how many likes or dislikes or comments or fucking views I've got, I'm proud of that myself. Because, at the start of this, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go, I, I knew that I needed to do a series, I knew I needed to make a series, so that uh, my audience would would have something to watch, so that a new person coming to my channel would see that I'm committed to YouTube, that I do make videos consistently, and they would su subscribe. And you know that's what I've found has happened. We've we've gone up by about 4,000 subscribers in the past year, and I'm absolutely stoked with it. So onwards and upwards from here. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna smash a workout, smash some arms, get a get a fucking awesome pump, which I can't wait for. I'm going to get a weigh-in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So that was just a, an update on everything, how things are going. I still don't have my own place, obviously, which is very frustrating. But it just means that when I do sleep, I make the most of it, because my sleep's been pretty fucking disrupted lately. So, with that said, I'm going to go inside, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.